From an art of international appeal to The Hague, home of the International Court of Justice, which functions in the stately peace palace. But this palace is at Pandurodam, smallest yet most comprehensive city in the world. Constructed to a scale of 1 in 25, this miniature city represents the growth of a typical Dutch town from 1000 AD to the present day. Children play a predominant part in its life. The city council consisting of 36 boys and girls elected annually from local schools, while the Lord Mayor is teenage Princess Beatrix, eldest daughter of Queen Juliana. A masterpiece of the most minute detail, Madurodam captures the changing moods of the different parts of the town. In several of the quieter streets, the friendly barrel organ can be seen. But to some, authenticity is not the important thing. A little girl, for example, is quite happy with these ordinary houses. She wishes her doll's house were as nice as these. After a tiring day, the inhabitants of this real-life Lilliput can let their hair down in an amusement park that has everything for anyone between the ages of 8 and 80. The suburbs of Madurodam are served by one of the finest model railways in the world. In fact, it's not at all difficult to imagine that this is a live service. The most up-to-date electric trains have replaced steam locomotives, while the two-and-a-quarter-mile circuit is operated by the latest control systems so that a large number of trains can be run at the same time. Separate branch lines connect the railway station to the vast seaport with its modern dockside installations, large passenger liners, merchant ships and naval vessels, all built to scale from the plans of their famous giant counterparts. But improvements are being made all the time. Before long, every dock crane will be working. The city's airport, one of the most modern in Europe, is equipped with radar to assist occupants of the control tower and has a fine passenger restaurant besides the hangars and runways which incidentally are laid out to conform with international dimensions and regulations. On the tarmac are planes representing famous airlines and one of them is responsible for the general maintenance. Road traffic, a serious problem in Britain today, presents no difficulties in Madurodam. There are no traffic jams or bottlenecks on this modern two-speed arterial road, which forms a surface link between two underground tunnels for the use of fast traffic. The tunnels are well lit, but just in case, a police jeep and an ambulance patrol the route. What would Gulliver have thought of this 20th century fairy tale city? Started in 1952 as a memorial to Lieutenant George Maduro, who was posthumously awarded the Dutch Victoria Cross, it has become a unique example of man's ingenuity.